Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again this time as Tainted Maggie. Unfortunately, as Tainted Maggie, we only have greedier mode. The question is, do I want to risk a streak on greedier mode with Tainted Maggie? Uh, it's a gamble on a 15 streak, but we'll do it. <clears throat> we'll do it. I do I do like um, greedier mode, um, especially with the mods we've got going on at the minute. And... Honestly, Tainted Maggie's a pretty strong character. Getting extra HP with her off the bat is pretty fucking solid, so no complaints so far here. Uh, we'll see how this goes. We'll see if it uh, if it goes our way or not. The champions are really going to be the big issue from how I see it. Did that guy spawn on a fire then immediately die? If so, I commend him. But yeah, we'll see what we can get going on. Realistically, like I said, the champions are going to be the biggest issue. There's a lot of them, and if we walk into them, we take full heart damage. And uh, we'll be in bad heart economy. But that's kind of why Yum Heart exists, I guess. So it's not terrible. Don't drop the heart directly onto the button to turn off the thing. By the way, <clears throat> I have just finished eating, so my throat's a little bit claggy at the minute. I apologize if you can hear that in my voice or if I clear my throat like I just did um, on occasion. But it is how it is. Um, that was a pretty quick clear there. We'll go and get our key. <clears throat> and sprinklers obviously a pretty good one. Odd mushroom is probably better, I think. The lowered speed isn't ideal, but um, I think overall odd mushroom is going to be the better thing for us to grab. Um, and then we get something fantastic here. Not only does that give us a bunch of money, but it means we no longer have to buy keys for the entire room, which I think is pretty high value for us, realistically. There you go. Good thing is, as well, about this is um, Yum Heart obviously is going to charge up reasonably quickly in the regular waves. So we're going to be able to survive the regular waves relatively easily. It's just about if we can survive the boss. As for the question of the day today, what is it you're going to be doing on your next birthday? I'm interested to know. But yeah, we'll take Fat Odd Mushroom because it's more HP. Um, we could open this bad boy, but it's a little risky. I'm going to go for it. There you go. And we get ourselves Callus. Speed down. If any of these is a health down, I'll crap a brick. A bunch of mini Isaacs. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but there you go. Right, I'll, I'll also quickly buy two of these. Eh, I'm not going to buy two. Two's a bit of a bit excessive, I think. Right, down to the next floor. Uh, well, down to the next floor. What am I about? I've got to do my boss first. I probably should have bought the hearts, actually. Dude, damn mini Isaacs. Boy, I don't think I've ever had this many at once before. They're doing a great job. We're definitely going to go Angel Deal here, because... Um, it makes a lot more sense, frankly. We'll leave that as it is. We'll kill th these bad boys. And we'll go down to the next floor. Feeling pretty darn good about our odds right now. One thing I'm not happy about, however, is our current speed is pretty atrocious. Rock good. Finally been lowered down to a quality two. That's nice. Uh, and the other odd mushroom. Um... Hmm... I think I'm going to take this. I know the damage multiplier down isn't ideal, but the fire rate we get is huge, and we do get most of the speed we've lost back. Um, well, this is pretty good, because we don't. it doesn't affect our bosses, so it's decent enough. And then Soul of Maggie is kind of decent as well. Yeah. Uh, don't really think there's anything there I want. How does Soul of Maggie work again? Enemies killed, drop half out, disappears. Okay, that's actually pretty good, because that, that, I think that means they'll drop two. Soul of Magdalene. Maybe they won't drop two. Maybe I was wrong on that front. I thought they would. I thought they'd drop one from our class and one from the power of the uh, of the Soul Stone, but I guess not. At least they're dropping them guaranteed on kill. But you can see this is working out pretty damn well. Pretty damn well. I'm hoping we can get something that's like melee based or on damage based that we can use um, from our item room. Obviously, 
one thing I've got to remember is I, I need to build a run that also is effective against Ultra Greed. I can't just build a run that's good for melee. So that's kind of why I took Skinny Odd. Um, because although it lowers our damage a little bit, I think our fire rate boost is very important here. Because the waves, realistically, we're going to get through like a piece of piss. Don't particularly like you, big boy. Taking you out now. God damn, there's just so many champions. I wonder what the chances are for champions in uh, greedier mode. Because it seems really goddamn high. It seems like it's a solid like 30 or 40% chance. Maybe even more. Right, so item wise, we've got Hive Mind in here. And we've also got that. I, I don't think either of those are that worthwhile. So let's try and do a reroll here. We get the D4, which I'm not interested in. And we get Consolation Prize. Uh, that would be plus one damage up a bomb or a key. Uh, it's cool that it tells you what you're going to get with that now. I'm, I'm, I'm into that. But I think we'll definitely buy that with it being plus one damage. <clears throat> I'm happy with that. I'm a happy chappy indeed. That was pretty beautiful. That's a nice chunk of change there. Okay, now we can just go for the, the shots. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I'm sorry I keep clearing my throat. I had some um, garlic and cream cheese pasta on a bagel. It was pretty good. It were pretty good. Boom, boom, bow. Plus one damage is lovely. That's one max HP as well. I'd kind of like to grab that, but I don't think we're going to be able to afford it. Right. The soul hearts are going to be super useful for us realistically, but they exist. So there's that. They exist, at least. Right, there you go. Taken care of. Angel deal. Exist for us. Uh, tears up is nice, and we do get the Eternal Heart to proc here. Allows Angel Room to spawn. Taking rid of damage. Okay, that doesn't matter too much. Um, but still, that's that's good. We, we get the Eternal Heart to proc here, so I like that. Um, we're not getting it earlier on the floor. We're just going to get rid of it. We do get a full heart out of this. So health-wise, things are looking good. Things are looking good. We've got ourselves Nugget, which I think is actually good because it's going to lower our tiers by a good amount. We've already got good tiers. So yeah, it doesn't lower our tiers too much. It gives us some explosive options and it increases our damage by a good bit, which helps for our melee. We've also just got the speed out of combat, which is nice. Black Hole is looking pretty decent here. That's interesting that it's gone invisible. Um, I guess I'll take that. Clicker, of course. Not something I'm interested in at all. Rotten Hearts turn into half red hearts when lost. Ro uh, red Hearts turn into Rotten Hearts when at full, while at full HP. Don't know if that's valuable for us. Yeah, I'm going to pick it up. It's interesting. It's interesting, maybe. Maybe. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm unsure if this is useful or not. I might take Black Hole, to be honest. Black Hole seems good. Basically, my interest right now is, with this trinket... Yes, it, it, that is exactly how it works. I get Rotten Hearts um, from killing enemies... But, because I only lose half a half a rotten heart now, uh, basically at the end of each wave I get a buttload of flies. So this is this has been very, very successful. This trinket, as this character, is absolutely bonkers. Really, really good. So I'm very, very happy with how that's turned out. Uh, obviously that's not going to help too much on Ultra Greed himself, but in general that's good. Uh, we got coins for killing that champion, which you don't normally get for killing champions in this mode. So I'm a bit curious about how that's worked. Also, wait a minute. Is this booked? Right, I'm not picking up hearts here, right? I don't think I'm taking damage. Like, I'm taking damage, but I think I'm instantly healing. This is intriguing. Um, Black Hole. Black Hole. Nah, I'm just going to leave it. Black Hole's decent, but nah, I think I'm going to leave it. I, I think I can't take damage on things that I kill. No, okay. I, I see how it's working. Basically, the Rotten Hearts kind of act as extra HP. So we can still lose health, but the Rotten Hearts basically take priority. That's kind of interesting, though. Um, 
That's pretty. That's still pretty damn strong, I'd say. Still pretty damn strong. We'll go for this. So from from this, we'll get a ton of rotten hearts, right? It's kind of hard to get full on rotten hearts. You need a, like a big grouping of enemies. There you go. We got full on rotten hearts, and then the rotten hearts take pr damage priority. You see how I'm losing the rotten hearts before losing any actual hearts? That's really strong. That's really strong. Get another angel deal here. I'm very happy with that. Prism is pretty good here too. Um, it's going to help us out for the actual fight against a big boy himself. Pretty happy with how this floor went. I will hug you, of course. You died when I hugged you because we have deadly hugs. I love that. What a, what a great additional detail. Uh, Balrog's head. I think I'm going to take Balrog's head. It's pretty good. Toy drummer, pretty decent. Grab the key. Um, yes, please. And I think I'm going to take number two priority here. Also, I've got a mod that makes number two have a charge bar now, baby. Holy shit. Number two has a charge bar. Can you believe it? I did not mean to reroll all of that crap. My bad. I didn't realize what I was doing. Right. Let us get on with this. Yeah, Balrog's head. Can't imagine I'm going to use it a lot, but it exists. What I'm looking for at the minute, what I'd really like to see is more speed upgrades. But yeah, the fact that I've got a mod now that makes number two have a charge bar, it makes Kidney Stone have a charge bar as well, as well as one other thing. But very, very happy with it. It's such a, a great addition. It, it, it's, it's an item that is kind of... I never thought about the fact that it doesn't have a charge bar. But now that I think about it, I'm kind of like... Yeah, why doesn't it have a charge bar? That makes no sense. Melee-wise, we're virtually unkillable. <laughs> like, in terms of melee, we'll just get rotten hearts out the wazoo. This trinket is insane. Like, we've, we've doubled our health bar, for starters. Unfortunately, I think I, I think it resets number two on taking damage, you know, by the looks of it. We're not getting as much out of that as we could be. This Balrog's head's going to be good for bossing. I'm not even remotely worried about taking damage right now. It's just not even partially a concern. The yeah, number two isn't great for us right now, but in like later on it will be. Right. Get in there. Four more things for me to kill, thank you. That's just hearts to feed me. Good, good, good. Another angel deal, maybe? Ah, oh, devil deal this time around. I think I can go in there without without losing it, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. Again, I'm going to keep my money here. Unfortunately, I destroyed the reroll machine last time. And we are going to go down to the next floor. But yeah, we are speeding through this, baby. We are. We really are. Um, Cube Baby. Never a dull moment when Cube Baby's involved. Cracker Jacks is even more HP. I doubt the Trinket's going to be of any use to us. Double damage until you take damage. Doubt that's going to be super useful for us. Right. Um, That would be good, but no, sadly not. Uh, ooh, actually... Yes, we take this to gulp our trinket. Then we take this. Egg penny. Then... Do I take golden flakes? Will it Will it have a an effect on this? I, I don't know if it will. I think I'll just go for the reroll. Electric dice is always good. Oh, milk of Baphomet. Random on hit effects. That could be very, very strong. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try this out. Yeah, random on-hit effects. Could be terrible. 
It could it could yield some bad results, but for the most part, on hit effects will be positive. So I'm pretty happy with this. I'm not very happy with the amount of damage I've taken thus far. So I need to get back into Rotten Heart territory. Good. Right, we're back into Rotten Heart territory now. We need more bigger enemies. Okay, so the tower doing its thing there. Good stuff. That was a complete whiff. It's okay, we're doing good damage. I'm trying to line Nugget up, but realistically, it happens when it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't care. This guy, this guy has really sort of ballsed everything up for himself, is what I mean. He's created a lot of HP for me. We're back on the Rotten Hearts, baby. We're back on the Rotten Hearts. Once we get onto the Rotten Hearts, it's all over. It's all over. Okay, so the tower coming in. Milka Baphomet's such a fun one to get as Maggie. Back to the Angel deals, lovely. Extra damage. Um, chance to smite enemies that damage you. That's also real nice. That's real, real nice. Anything else in here for us? It could take damage and range. It's not a lot of damage, though. Uh, I think I'm going to keep going. I do love the electric dice as well, but... Nothing there, really. This is good for the boss fight. I'll take this. Alright, let's get gone. Dude, I speed right now. Away we go. Away we go. Last floor, baby. Last floor. That's kind of nice. Um... I guess we just re-roll here. Draggable chain is maybe good. Femson's chain could be good with this setup. Mr. Dolly or not. Both are good, actually. Ooh, small chance to activate on damage effects when picking up coins. That's kind of interesting. I think I'm going to take both of these. I'll take that first. Because that gives us, of course, the uh, fire rate up. Which actually didn't do anything for us, I don't think. I don't think we got any fire out from that, so my bad. Good. Come back for not when we can. Cool. Hello, good sir. Gotta remember that those enemies steal money when you hit, take damage from them. I keep sort of running into the keepers and thinking, oh, there's so much money on the floor. But yeah, it's, it's my money. It's not It's not new money. It's my money. I've got to kind of stay away from those guys. This is This has been an absolutely delightful run. I don't know how well-versed we are for the big man himself. I'll be honest, I don't think we're in a particularly good spot to fight him. But, I think it's not going to go terribly. I'll say that. It'd be nice if we could get a different active that is, that is a bit better for 4.5 volt. But if we can't, we can't. It's fine. What we want to do is we want to make sure we stay in Rotten Heart territory the whole time we're fighting him. Okay, stop walking into those guys.
Well, that was good. Hey, you get to smite him. Tower coming out as well, why not? Almost at full Rotten Hearts once again. There you go. Lovely stuff. Good bit of money. Take the knot here. Try and go for another reroll. Modeling clay. Damage. Slight tears down. Ranger. Pretty good, I'll take that, I think. We got Fungi as well, that's good. Always forget you've got to like, go through a phase of killing this guy's minions before you can deal damage to him. I don't know why I went taking damage there. Maybe this guy doesn't deal contact damage. Damn it, devil deal to end it off. Um, I think Sack Dagger is worth in this situation. It's only one red heart gone, and Sack Dagger can do obviously good melee damage. Uh, I think we're good to go. Right, I'm not sure how this is going to go, I'll be honest. This could be a tragedy, um, we'll see. My thoughts is that it won't be, but you never know. I think Nugget was probably a bad take overall. Smited myself there, apparently. Okay. So, basically, I think we want to melee. We want to melee whenever there's a ton of enemies around, because that's how we get our Rotten Hearts back, and that's basically how we stay unkillable. So, like, these these coins, I literally couldn't care less about them spawning enemies. Like, you can, you can do whatever the fuck you want. It's just free real estate for me, baby. Just get in there. Keep wailing on him. These things don't... Like I said, those things don't drop coins, sadly. The big problem is that Nugget, I'm just not able to do good damage with Nugget because I can't narrowly miss him. To do good damage with Nugget, I have to just nearly miss him. And that's not super plausible. Again, we, we kind of want these keys to do their thing because that's going to refund and refuel the Rotten Hearts back to us. The good thing also as well is uh, it's triggering more on-hit effects, which... Obviously, some of them are going to just deal damage to the enemy, but a lot of them are going to... Um... Dude, when this guy spins, he knocks you away. I did not know that. Um, for most of them, it's actually kind of, like, fine, because, like, the invader is one that... It's an on-hit effect that stays around for the entire room sort of thing. We're doing all right. We're, we're, we are getting close to um, ending the reign of Rotten Hearts right now. Okay, we got a few more there, good. Dude, he keeps hitting me with his goddamn coins. I can't even get HP off the coins. Ow. Okay, we got back up to full Rotten Hearts there. That was pretty pretty goddamn good. The Rotten Heart thing is just so busted. <laughs> I never thought how good this trinket would be for this character. And it's it's legitimately amazing. Now, this, this is a bit trickier because he doesn't spawn as many minions. The good thing is he has significantly less health in this phase. So I think we can just kind of face tank for the most part. I think we managed to double our damage there briefly. He does have some attacks where he spawns minions, but in the second phase, but not a lot. He keeps trying to get all the bombs. All the coins, sorry, not bombs. I shall not let you see we got look, we got another invader there. Which I 
Didn't actually expect to be able to get two, but I'm pretty happy about it. I keep hitting myself with my own bombs. Number two is like kind of fucking me over a little bit, because I'm mainly because I'm not paying attention to it, but just in general, it's not ideal. Unfortunately, there's been no more minions thus far. I thought I thought he had an attack where he spawned minions on this phase, but maybe not. Oh, lovely. He got smited there. But I think we've pretty much closed this out. This was a really fun run. Um, how are you not dead? There you go. Um, and there you go. That was a really, really enjoyable run. This trinket just literally won us the whole run. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy. This was a lot of fun. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.